Today, the man blamed for starting the I-85 fire graduated from a substance abuse program, and he tells CBS 46 that turning his life around, well, it hasn't been easy, but it has been worth it. Our cameras were there, the only cameras there, when Basil Ellaby celebrated his fresh start on life. CBS 46's Haley Mason live in Decatur, where she just talked to him about this second chance. Haley. Rick and Alicia, this is truly a story of a second chance, a story of redemption for a man who tells me that he didn't even believe in himself until now. Greeted with a round of applause by a support system he couldn't do without, Basil Ellaby says the last two years have been life changing for him. In March of 2017, he was accused of starting the fire that caused the I-85 bridge to collapse while allegedly using drugs underneath. I really doubted myself that I can stay sober this long. Today, Basil graduated a Fulton County Diversion Program and celebrated his new life as a sober man. This is how we can help each other. This is how we we build our community. This is how we save our own. All with the help of the Davis Bozeman law firm who took on his case for free. I had some good times. I had some real bad times. I had some bad times way in the past. I probably would have given up. But like I said, God put those steps in my life to make sure that I don't have no excuse to go back. He embraced the members of his treatment team and listened to words of encouragement from the men and women who have backed him and pushed him to be better. Every time I talk to this brother, I'm like, brother, there's so many people waiting for you, needing you to, to, to blossom into the, to the man that you are moving towards. I break chains all by myself. His story is one of struggle, aiming toward redemption, not giving up on himself or the people rooting for him to win. And there are so many people rooting for Basel who will start a full time job Monday morning at a Metro Atlanta packing warehouse. Right now there's an effort to raise money to buy Basel a used car so that he can get to and from work without a car. It will take more than two hours to get there on the bus. There's a GoFundMe account. We'll put that link on our website, CBS 46.com. For now, reporting live in Decatur, Haley Mason, CBS 46 News.